Hi, my name is Joey Keller and welcome to the Marketing Automation Show. In today's part, we're going to talk about a new plugin which I created. Um, as you know, I'm supporting a lot of people on the Modic forums and also on email, on Slack, wherever I can to learn Modic. And what I learned in the past couple of years is that learning Modic is not so easy because you have to understand a couple of key concepts which everything is built on in Modic. You have to understand how email sending works, what a contact is, what is ownership, how campaigns can be actually workflows and so on. So I created a special plugin which streamlines all this information and recommends you the next logical steps. It's kind of like an onboarding for Modic. Installation of this plugin consists of a couple of parts. So I created this video to show you. It's free to use and I believe it will flatten your learning curve when it comes to understanding how Modic works. Today, we're going to talk about tutorials. So if you know my website, you know that I have a bunch of tutorials about different topics. But the problem is how to organize these tutorials, how to give you the one which is the next logical step. So I've been working on this in the past couple of months, and I created a combination of a plugin and the knowledge base and the logic on my website. So if you remember from now on, you will see a My Guided Tutorials uh, site here. By clicking on it, you are able to uh, see the next step, what you have to do with your modic. It's connected with your modic. I'm going to show you exactly how to connect them. And you will have different features like video trainings, accomplishments, uh, task, tasks you are postponing, and the health dashboard. But I will cover this in a moment. You also have the possibility to include this into your own modic, adding a beautiful new menu item here. And I'll show you in a moment also how to do that. So anytime you would like to understand what your next step is, so you just come here, you will click on the tutorial, it will load and teach you that specific step. And once you completed that step, it will automatically be crossed out from here and become an accomplishment. So some tutorials are based on other tutorials. So you're not overwhelmed. You just see a couple of next steps. Like here, I have eight listed. But if I would start creating emails, for example, or send out a newsletter, then a new tutorial will pop up, say, hey, hey, you sent out your newsletter, good job. Let's try to understand the results together. So it really holds your hand and tries to uh, teach you Modic in a more moderated way. I hope you like it. It's going to be an expanding, uh, always expanding uh, tutorial. And I have some amazing plans for this in the future if the feedback is right. So if you like what I'm doing, please leave some comments uh, for me here on the page or, or on my own website. Okay, so let's learn how to install this uh, new plugin. Okay, so we're going to start on our GitHub page. It's a Modic Tutorials model. Uh, simply go to code and then copy this path from here. So copy path. Um, if you use FTP to push files on your server, then you can just simply download it to your computer and push it over. I'm going to use SSH for that, and you will see the commands in the tutorial blog post, which is connected to this video. So first, I'm going to go to our uh, Modic installation. I usually install Modic here, and then go to the plugins. So we have already our plugins here. And I'm going to do wget and this command here, which will download the main zip file. So now we have a zip here. You can simply unzip it by unzip main zip. And it's going to push it into our modic tutorials bundle main. Now, um, this is not the right path. Oops, this is not the right path. So we have to rename that. So this is MV. Modic Tutorials Model Main to Modic Tutorials Bundle. This will be also described in the in the blog post. So once it's done, you can see that our Modic Tutorials Bundle is already set. In my case, I logged in as root. You don't see it, but it's here. So I'm going to have to clear the cache. So I'm going to add a couple of commands. Uh, first, I make sure that all data is by WW data, then I make sure that the uh, permissions are right, and then I clear the cache. 
so this way I'm refreshing the system in the background this step is important so we are able to access certain data from the modic installation and we can get the right tutorial information on the tutorial page great so now let's go to the tutorial page so let's head over before we go and install on the tutorial page I just want to make sure that everything is fine here and the plugin is visible so let's go to plugins upload the plugins and now we have tutorial plugins modic guided tutorials this is what we need this is going to give us an API access to the tutorials uh, page so let's go and register a new account there if you have an account you can just log in so let's go to joeykeller.com and do a new registration so I'm gonna have here um, joey I don't know test 3 I guess I don't have that yet Okay, I'm not a robot, and let's register. This takes a little bit long time, so I should, I guess, I should work on my block server resources. Okay, so here you have, uh, you have a bunch of information here. Uh, once you register, you can have access to your academy, your account, your download area. The download area is actually pretty cool because you can find here all kinds of information. Uh, you can find different scripts and templates and anything, a bunch of things which makes uh, your modic work better or be more sophisticated. You can even have some templates and stuff. Okay, so what we're looking for is my guided tutorials. Uh, this one display at this point because we need to add an API access to our account. So I'm going to go back to my account. And I also go back to Modic, which is here. And I'm going to go to API credentials. And I will not create any here, but I'm going to add a new user. Because I want to make sure that this user is just for the tutorial. So I'm going to call it tutorials user. So an administrator blah 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 I'm gonna call it tutorials and email will be it's non-existent doesn't matter what you give here so it could be just to um, email.com email like this and then you should remember the password okay so let's say um, it's super important that you allow the API access and that's under configuration API settings and this has to be enabled once you enable it you need to clear the cache that's also very important so you have to make sure that you are running this command here it will be also in the in the show notes or in the blog connected to this um, tutorial great so let's go back to my account and here I can go to profile details so here I have to add my uh, the information what I used before here. So it's actually the login information of this user. So in this case it's tutorials. This is um, tutorials. And then I need the API password which I'm going to fill out. And then here I need the URL. Which is my URL here. Like this without trailing slash this has to be deleted because I don't want to change the password okay so let's save changes okay now the the changes are saved I have all my information here saved and now when I go back to my um, guided tutorials I have a connection between my Motic and the tutorials so uh, I would like to walk you through how everything goes here and what everything does okay so this is in beta so it's possible that you see you know little errors like this but i hope i you know manage to uh clean them out and i'm continu continuously adding more tutorials so it's gonna be actually awesome um so right now we don't really have any contacts here so therefore our uh, software recommends here uh, to add your first contact and you can have a tutorial here so if i click on this here 
then it's automatically going to load a new tutorial for me. It's This is connected to my own knowledge base, but it's possible that uh, you will have some other tutorials. So it's it's possible that it's, it's going to link to the official Mautic documentation or any other documentation, which I think it's really good. I didn't want to replicate it. It's not about storing data on my side, but to point you to the right resources all the time and step by step. So let's say I'm going to create a couple of contacts here. So let's do a couple of contacts. I'm going to just quick get someone. I'm going to do test one, test one, test one. You know, save him. You know, let's have a more. Let's do, let's do. Okay, so once I have more of these, uh, more of these um, contacts, when I refresh the page, it will actually recalculate everything. Let's see how it changes. Now I have four contacts in the system, so let's see if it changes when I refresh the page. And there you go. It's here among the the accomplished tasks. So it's automatically will set it as accomplished, and it's gonna offer you another um, tutorial. Probably like it's gonna show you that okay, you should import, and once you import, it will disappear. Also, <clears throat> I have unsubscribes in my uh, system it automatically recognizes okay they are unsubscribed so you click here you will have to you will right away understand how to deal with unsubscribes because that's a pretty different concept in in uh, modic than in other systems so it's going to show you exactly how to deal with the unsubscribes in your system um, it's possible that not all um, features are interesting for you like for example you don't want to learn about marketing automation you can just click here and then it disappears and that's going to be one of the postponed tasks so the postponed tasks are tasks which are collected here under the postpone tab and you can see it here so you don't want to deal with it it's a simply archived you can anytime get it back by clicking here and then it's gonna it's gonna come back to the to the main page still working on JavaScript so it's possible that you have to do some refresh but it's I think in general it works fine you can also for some um, tasks you can say I'm sorry but I already did this so if you watch this video you can just set it's done and then it's automatically gonna add to the accomplishments so you see there is five here um, most of the tasks can be automatically verified so we will the system will tell if you really uploaded an asset if you really created your first campaign and some things you have to manually uh, cross out so these are my accomplishments I have a newsletter already I have segments which is two so if I go back here I actually do have segments here okay so what else do we have here we also have video trainings this part is available only at this point to the uh, supporters so if you have some specific questions and I answer you in a in a short video, then you will find it here. This is only visible to you. And I do this if it's not relevant to others. So become a supporter and you will get a lot more uh, custom information here in the in the guided tutorials. So as I said, here are the accomplishment, here are the postponed tests, and I'm also creating a health dashboard right now. It's not connected, but it's gonna be stuff like uh, you want to, uh, for example, clean this and this table because it's too large, or you can upload, uh, you can upgrade to the next modic, but watch it, watch out because your PHP version is too low. So it's going to make sure that you're doing the right thing when you upgrade, uh, you clean your database, um, or if you have something stuck, for example, you have some hazards in your system, you're leaving uh, an email. Um, publishing date empty and it's probably something you don't want to send in future it's going to send you warnings here too right now it's just a placeholder so this is how it goes and uh, it is possible to tie this in into your modic as well and i'm going to show you uh, now how to add a custom block here to modic and have your own tutorials inside your modic so you don't have to log into joeykeller.com So the guys, the guys at Torn Marketing did an amazing job creating this uh, Modic Custom Navlinks um, plugin. It's two years old, but it's still working really well. 
So let's just download it and add it to our system. So I'm going to click the same way, just copy this. Then I'm going back to my Modic and I am still in the plugin folder. So let's unzip, uh, let's uh, uh, download this file. You can do this also with FTP. Okay, so I have two files now called main, that's never cool. So let's remove mine. This is my old main file. And let's unzip the new one. Okay, and we have to change the name, which is now Modic Custom Netflix Main to and probably it's here written somewhere exactly so you have to change it to this one okay so that's mv yes like this now i'm gonna clear the cache and make sure that uh the permissions are right this is gonna take a minute and then i go back to my modic and activate this uh plugin okay so let's see plugins let's reload Okay, I have a new item here, Navlinks. Great. So what this does, it's gonna add here another menu, but for that I have to reload the page. Now I have navigation links. So we are adding a new navigation link here. And I have in the descriptions uh, connected to this blog post how exactly to do this. There are a couple of settings we have to do. This is the, uh, you can do it to the primary or admin bar. I would like to add it to the primary bar. Probably I'm gonna add it to the front. So I'm gonna call it uh, tutorials. And where is the followings? This is the link here, what we're looking for. So we're gonna add this link with your key and your secret. So where do we find that? Okay, so let's go back to our page. And I'm gonna add this URL here. So here we need to replace your key and your secret. So I logged in here already. I'm gonna go to my account. And here, is my key and my secret. So I need to add this as a key. And this should be my secret. Cool. Uh, for icon, I recommend this one here. I'm also gonna put it in the show notes. And it should be an iframe. So let's see what happens here. Let's refresh the page one more time. Actually, with the Navlinks, it's tricky because you have to log out and log in again. It's just simply because that's how this the this uh, this uh, um, plugin is written that that's when it loads when you log in. Okay, maybe I have to clear the cache. Okay, so let's see. So we have now tutorials here. I can also put it in the first position, but it doesn't matter. And if I open it, then it automatically loads from my own profile. So these are my tutorials with my accomplishments or eventually with my own uh, postponed tasks as well. Should be here. Exactly. Okay, so that's how you install the guided tutorials plugin, which might have some name change in the future, but this is the first try. It's still in beta. It contains 52 different tutorials which helps you to go step-by-step step, uh, in your modic experience. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you succeed in installing this plugin and I hope you will use it and you will become a heavy modic user. If so, please support the modic project or support me by registering on the website and subscribing as a supporter. It's 19 euro per month and you can get some extra tutorials and extra help and personal uh, videos as well. If you have any questions, suggestions or comments, you can leave it here in YouTube or you can go to my page or my blog page and leave your comments there. I will try to answer them as soon as possible and I hope that with your help, this can be the best tutorial plugin ever. And once it's ready, we can open source it. Thanks for watching. See you in two weeks. And until then, keep optimizing.